I am spraying and making changes for transparency. I made choices, like I just moved that little obelisk. I don't know if it'll fit in the box when I close it. I'm not positive. I'm not testing. I put that there. That's my focus. If I need one, but I have all of that as well. Because I took it off of here. These are not even supposed to be here. Those were just taken as a photo. But I, I very intentionally removed almost anywhere I can put anything in this, in this room. Because if I'm not putting it on like a garment or something else, I, really, I don't bring food. I don't bring things in here. It's, it's, it's either where I sleep, make decisions, or meditate, and sometimes do homework. But even when it's just my bedroom for the last four years with my son, when there was a computer gnaw in here, he's never seen me even eat like a cracker in my bedroom. That's why it's like, what's a bedroom? Some people eat macaroni and cheese underneath of the covers and I have done room inspections and found pizza boxes under people's mattresses. Like, I don't live like that. So, if that's your bedroom, okay, well, this is the Vault of the Dragon. I don't do any of those things. I intentionally left that small amount of space so that I could put a vape down, but it reminds me every time. That does not live there. You must pick it up there. I put that there so that it also helps me remember where I put things down. Because there's only like two places in this entire room to put anything down. If it isn't the floor, you, there's only like two places to put something down. And that's on purpose. Because I don't like to carry things. I don't like things on me. Unless they're like on me, they're not on me. I don't like things in my hands. I either set it down or I don't. Um, I had said I might move like this and all that in there and the decisions were made no i i i described it very poetically but that was my thought process that's why those three blades are in there because two of them were already in that box the red and the orange i already introduced as a spirit knife and a a war knife and they were in that box for the last two months they were not introduced all i did was open the box I did decide, though, like I didn't want that in there, and I didn't want these things in here. This, to me, is like, this is Sierra November. All of that is right here. So if I wanted to talk as Master Barber, I want to be able to just hold this, and everyone understands that that lives. It's not really alive, but that's where... If you ask me a question, Sierra November can, might say, I, Jason might say, I need to go talk to Sierra November. He's not a real person. But that's the bench that sit on when he talks to him. Okay? But Master Barber, small business, community relations, this, that, and the other. We haven't really gotten all the way through that. I'm getting there. War Chief. This is supposed to be like a belt loop for a bow. This is trajectory, archery, reading list. Like living under Pontius. How does a war chief, how does a coyote in a city survive? That's not the same as being a barber. Because this is just survival. That is about how do I make money in a city. This is just how do I deal with this. I don't think stoicism covers it. Because life under Pontius is my war chief reading list. Like, I don't think that's, it doesn't really, it doesn't really go anywhere else. Um, it just doesn't. I don't agree. This one's for a bow as well. But this is more like Lao Tzu, Sun Tzu, conversations of Hagakure, because the Hagakure really is very similar to Marcus Aurelius, except it isn't, because the Hagikur is written basically by an enlisted samurai that never killed anybody, and uh, the meditations of Marcus Aurelius were by an emperor who made other people kill people for him, but he still killed people-ish. So both of them were just functionaries. 
with a lot of deep thoughts. This is more about the guy that carried the sword that then they had to explain why. Okay? This... For every emperor Marcus Aurelius, there was a hundred people with a sword that made him emperor. That's what this means to me. That's why a lot of books like Sun Tzu are very short. Because the basic the basic principle is he's only in charge because I put him there. But that's how those books are written. That's why it sits atop a master's blade cleaning kit that will presumably never be opened and a stone that would never touch any sword that I own they would never touch it I actually bury a master's cleaning kit directly atop a stone that would never be used to simply state I'm smarter than that when I look at it from across the room so even if Sierra November was having a moment of doubt in his meditation he could just look over here and say that's right Never mind. And then I put these guys on top. All right.